Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Encouragement, coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. And friend, there's just not a better place to find encouragement than in the light of God's holy and precious Word. Today, let me invite you to pick up your copy of God's Word. Turn with me over to the book of Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter number 3. I want us to look at a couple of verses of Scripture today. I want us to look at verse number uh, 1 and verse number 7. Get that good fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together and have an encounter with God and His precious Word on this beautiful day. Well, praise God. Good coffee this morning and a great word from God. Listen to what the Bible says here. To everything there is a season, a time to every purpose under the heaven. And then verse 7 says, a time to rend and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak. And friend, I pray that God would add his blessings to the reading of his wonderful word today. Today I want to bring to you a thought that I've titled, Going Forward. You know, uh, we live in such a negative society that too many people get wrapped up in negativity. And uh, I could stop here and say to you how, you know how I know that. Well... Friend, if you're around people with a negative spirit, you're going to have negative to jump off on you. And too many times we focus on negative things instead of focusing on the Lord. God wants us to go forward. Uh, God don't want us to live with a negative attitude. He wants us to move forward. We can't live in yesterday's victories either. We need to move forward. Uh, That's why I've titled the devotion today, Going Forward. You know that everything will be all right, and it'll be all right in God's perfect timing. His timing is perfect. Ours is not. Uh... So uh, his time is a little different than ours, but it's perfect timing. Uh, When he calls you to wait, the wisest thing for you to do is just to stop and be patient. But that's something too many people don't have. uh, Too many people just don't have patience. Uh, And be careful if you pray for patience, because the Bible teaches us that tribulation can work those patience. And you sure, certainly don't want to be tribulated. But uh, he calls on you to wait, and the wisest thing you can do is be patient and wait. When he commands that you act, then you must go forward in faith. But how can you know for certain when to tarry and when to launch out and go forward? Well, friend, listen. If you've done everything you know to discern God's leadership, being diligent in prayer and searching the Word of God, obtaining wise counsel, and submitting yourself completely to the Lord Jesus as Lord of your life, and a decision arises that must be made, then you can go forward. If you've done all of those things, you've trusted Jesus to be Lord, and those decisions got to be made, trust Jesus and move forward. Don't be anxious. Too many of us get anxious in our spirits. But have faith in God, knowing that He is at work in you, both to do His will and to work his good pleasure in your life. If you sincerely, listen, if you sincerely desire to honor the Lord, but make the wrong decision out of uh, ignorance or 
just not knowing, just trust that God will forgive you and stir you in the right direction. Too many times uh, we try to stir our own lives instead of uh, allowing God to. Uh, there was a very famous country song, if I remember right, that one of the artists did uh, titled Jesus Take the Wheel. A uh, very popular song. Too many times we try to stir our lives when we need to let God stir our lives. When you must chart a course, place your confidence in God who knows you better than you know yourself. He knows your future. And then take the time to wait on Him until He makes the way very clear. And then act boldly in faith by entrusting yourself to your faithful God. Uh, I've made some wrong decisions in my life, and I know that many of you probably have too. In uh, my early ministry, God placed me in a in a wonderful church, and a bigger church came looking for me. Uh, and uh, bigger building, nicer building, uh, office complex off to one side, uh, higher steeple, more people type church. And uh, I made the mistake of leaving the place that God had me serving to go to the bigger, higher steeple place. And when I got there, I had two churches under one roof, a church split right down the middle. I walked right into a hornet's nest. And so be careful. Move as God leads you to move, but make sure it's God that's leading you to move. That's why I told you that story. Uh, needless to say, that didn't last very long. God uh, moved me back to a place, uh, and I learned from my mistake. Uh, as I said to you a few moments ago, uh, if you if you make a mistake, then just trust out of ignorance, and that was out of ignorance. I was just young and inexperienced and didn't know any better. If you make a mistake out of ignorance, trust that God will forgive you and move you in the right direction. And friend, He will. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your understanding and just go forward. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this powerful devotion that reminds us that uh, you want us to move forward uh, no matter what may come. Many times in our lives we move before we even stop to ask you what we need to do. Help us always seek your face in any and everything that we do. And when the time comes, then, Lord, we move forward. God, I know that you have a perfect plan for each of our lives. May we always search your heart to know that we're doing the right thing. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friend, I pray the devotion's been a blessing to you today. Boy, it sure has reached into my spirit. Uh, and hey, remember, your life's the only Bible some will ever read, so let others see and hear Jesus in what you say, and in what you do. Again, have a wonderful day.